Hello, hello, and welcome back. Here is another challenge for you on this next day of our M90 challenge. I want to talk to you about something that you possess that is very, very, very important. Now, in Christ and in your relationship with God, you possess a lot of different things, a lot of valuable things. But one thing that you possess that's very important is your reputation, your reputation, how others perceive you, what others think about you, what others say about you. And that's especially important if you are a Christian and a follower of Christ, because in all actuality, it's not just your reputation, but it's Jesus's reputation that you exhibit or that you show to others. So what you possess in your reputation is very important. And it's important, therefore, that you keep yourself in such a way that your reputation or Jesus through you always looks good to others. So that brings us to our memory verse today in 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse number 22. The Bible says, abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. What does it mean to abstain? Well, to abstain means to voluntarily withhold yourself from something. So the Bible's telling us here, the appearance of evil, abstain from it. Keep yourself from appearing evil. Because really, you can commit evil acts. You can also not commit evil acts, but it can appear that you have done so. So the Word of God is telling us here, obviously, we don't want to sin. We don't want to commit evil. But neither do we want to try to... Um, let our good works be evil spoken of, or we don't want to give even the appearance of evil. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're, uh, you're walking home from school, and uh, you've got the chance to walk home with a couple of the cool guys from, from your class, and, uh, and so you decide to pair up with them and to walk home with them, and on the way home, uh, they decide to throw some rocks at an old building, and they break some glass. They're committing these acts of vandalism, and uh, you didn't throw any rocks, but uh, when the police come or when, you know, somebody from the community comes, they didn't realize that you didn't throw rocks. They didn't see that detail. They just saw you connected with these other people who were doing something wrong, doing something evil. So that is a way where you are putting yourself in a situation where it appears that you've done wrong. Hope that makes sense to you. So the Bible's telling us you need to pull yourself away from any kind of a situation that appears to be evil. Why? Because we represent Jesus Christ. We represent the light of God in a dark world. And so it's important that if we're going to be involved in something where somebody might see Jesus in a bad light or they may not fully understand the situation, we want to make sure we're being careful and we're living in a godly way that represents God, first of all, our family, our church, and ourselves in the best possible light. So take stock a little bit. Is there an involvement? Is there something that, that you need to be on the lookout for to say, wait a minute, I better withdraw myself from this situation because I don't want to give the wrong appearance. I don't want to put Jesus or those important to me or myself in any kind of a bad light. It bears some thought because the life that we live is not just our own. We are an open book, an open letter that everybody sees. And so we want to put Jesus in the best possible light. So I encourage you here today to abstain, pull yourself away from any appearance of evil so that you can live holy and separated unto God and be a great witness for him and for others. Yeah.